Captain. I went by your house to check on Leon. He was praying, but something wasn't right. He wasn't praying to Stendar. At least it wasn't like any Stendar prayer I ever heard. And I heard another voice in the house. It was alien, Captain. Evil. I don't mind admitting that what I heard has me more than a little frightened. Powerful. Leon. Leon, are you here? I forsake the mercy of Stendar and deliver myself to you, Molag Ball. What? Molag Ball? Leon, what have you done? I will not condone this madness. Rosalind? No. What have I done? Rosalind, please! Now you know how I brought this evil upon Westry. Too weak to trust in Stendar. I gave us all to Moloch Ball. Perhaps. Maybe you can help us. You're attuned to Rosalind now. If anyone can break this curse, it's you! When Rosalind discovered what I did, she fled to the town chapel. She lost her sword after a battle with the Nord leader. Retrieve the sword and bring it to her remains. The sword's in the chapel, the building beyond the burial vault. Yes, you deserve the truth. Molog Ball turned Rosalind into a vengeful shade. He turned her into the tormentor of the people she fought so hard to protect. The sword might remind her who she really is. If not, you must destroy her and set us free. Please finish this. Retrieve the sword from the chapel and take it to the burial vault where Rosalind died. Do what I cannot and face my poor wife's shade. belong to me. When, when I offered you my blade, I had no idea we'd get to do things like this. You had the strength to do what no one else could, and now I'm free. You have no idea what that means to me. But tell me, stranger, why did you do all of this? Leon, I loved him once. Perhaps I still do. But there's the matter of Molag Ball to deal with first. Leon made a deal with the Daedric Prince, and despite your actions, that deal remains in place. My shade was only one aspect of the curse. There are also the innocent spirits of Westry, and the angry spirits of the invaders. Use my sword to make the town safe for mortals, or use this gem to set the innocent spirits free. The choice is yours. Then, you must destroy the enraged wraiths, and make Westry safe for mortal travelers once again. But that will leave the innocent spirits of Westry's villagers trapped here forever, bound to the haunted town. Then you would free the spirits of Westry's innocent villagers, ending their bondage to this place. However, the danger to mortal travelers would remain, and the living will never find welcome or solace within Westry's borders.
This gem represents Westry's torment. You'd use it to save us, even if Westry remains a danger to the living? Such mercy still exists makes my heart glad. Take the gem, and free the innocent spirits. When the deed is done, return to Leon. The lamentations of Westry's dead have been silenced. Now I can finally tell Rosalind how sorry I am. Thank you, Traveler. Our torment is finally over. Rosalind has forgiven me, though Stendar knows I don't deserve it. Our thanks for bringing peace to Westry and rest to us all. May you walk in Stendar's light.
artifacts. I hope we get to see all of these dungeons someday. Have you returned? Have you returned? Then take what you are owed. Use it for the best. Undaunted. Were the story dipping your toes?